morning. It is cold here in Florida. At least it's cold to us. We are not accustomed to things that start with a four or a five around these parts. I'm gonna show you today one of the glute workouts I'm incorporating into my week now. Um, some of you, if you've been following me on um, YouTube before or Instagram, then you might know that I'm a CrossFitter and a CrossFit coach. Um, I try to do those workouts at least three times a week, sometimes four or five, depending on what my schedule is doing. Um, we obviously have a home gym that I can modify and do stuff in if I don't make it to the gym on a day that I'm not coaching. Um, so through CrossFit, we are getting lots of glute activation through the lifting that we already do. So I'm already doing back squats, front squats, deadlifts, a variety of full body exercises that would require the posterior chain, which is all the muscles on the backside of your body, your glutes, your hamstrings, to activate, not just your anterior muscles, which would be the ones on the front, which are mostly your quads. A lot of us are quad dominant, especially if you never really learned to lift properly and most of your workouts have circled around cardio, <clears throat> then it's very easy to become quad dominant. And then that's when injuries can occur from imbalances and things like that from not having enough activation and strength in the backside. So I am trying to build a bigger butt for two reasons. One, I just think they're cuter. So I like the way a bigger, more muscular butt looks in jeans and bathing suits. Um, but at the same time, it's also a longevity thing and a performance thing. So a well, a well-trained, um, activated glute section is just going to be better for your health in the long run. So, um, I'm going to do a couple of glute workouts, specific glute workouts a week. Now I'm going to show you one today and I'm going to start with a warm up. So, um, these muscle, I'm going to put some heavy weight on my glutes in a little bit and I don't want to do that cold. So I'm going to run through a couple of different exercises. I'm going to do three rounds of 10 reps of things that I'm going to be doing in my heavier portion later. Once I get to the actual glute workout, it's only going to take me about five minutes. So it's really quick, something I can add on as a finisher, even if I were to do another workout that day. So let's warm up. Okay, that was three rounds of 10 good mornings, just body weight, and then glute bridges, just body weight, driving through the heel, and then kettlebell swings. I'm gonna be doing heavy kettlebells in my actual little five minute glute workout. I'm gonna be doing them with a 55 pound kettlebell. So I used a 35 in warm up. You can use whatever you have, something way lighter than that. In fact, the third round I went and grabbed a 25 pound dumbbell just so I could show you that you can use whatever weights you have. If you have eight pound dumbbells, five pound dumbbells, whatever, use that. Just turn it sideways, vertically, and hold it like this. You just wanna make sure that you're driving through the glute and really squeezing at the top, and your back is staying flat through the whole movement, okay? So if you're gonna do this today, write that down, three rounds, 10 of those three movements, and figure out what you're gonna use as a weight, or nothing. Still do this, we need glute activation, even if it's just body weight. All right, so now I'm gonna go into 21, 15, and nine of heavy uh, hip thrusters. So I'm gonna load some weight onto this barbell and I'm gonna basically do a glute bridge, a seated glute bridge with the barbell on my hips. So I'm gonna do a heavy glute bridge. I'm supposed to work up to 115 pounds, but I haven't done them in a while and I'm thinking 95 might be where I'm gonna work at, we'll see. But I'm gonna do 21 hip thrusters with the barbell, and then I'm gonna do 21 Russian kettlebell swings, which just means up to the eyeball level. We're not doing a kettlebell swing all the way up. 
or your arms go overhead. That's American style. I'm using a heavier kettlebell and stopping here just at the eye level because I want to really drive through that glute um, with a really, really heavy weight. So I'm going to do 21 hip thrusters, 21 kettlebell swings, 15 hip thrusters, 15 kettlebell swings, nine hip thrusters, nine kettlebell swings. And the whole thing should take me about five minutes. All right, let me go warm up some weights on the barbell. Okay, yeah, since I'm doing 21, 15, and nine, that's 45 total reps for this workout. I'm gonna stick with 95 um, for that high of a volume. And we have a pool noodle that we just sliced down the middle that I'm using as a pad because it really does kind of hurt your pelvic bones, that heavy barbell sitting on you. If you don't have a barbell at home and you are training with just dumbbells and you're trying to incorporate this for the first time, then just use dumbbells. Just place them on top of your hips. And you can raise your hips up with just the dumbbells kind of on your lap. So. There's a lot of different ways to do this with whatever you have at home, but again, do it with body weight. Just do it. We need glute activation, period. Okay, so that's not a big time commitment. It's a five, five to seven minute finisher that you can put at the back of a cardio session or some other workout that you're doing today. 
on YouTube or off of Pinterest, whatever. Go back and watch my video from day one of Vlogmas about consistency. One of the last tips on there was that something is better than nothing, so just do something. But try to add some of these glute activations best you can, either with light weights or no weights or whatever you have. Just do it. I'm out of breath. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> uh.